I'm going to show you how I do keyword research because that's the one thing that everyone asks me, where do I start? In Keyword Inspector, the whole goal is to get data from the App Store, from Google Play for any keyword, but with overlay data to let you know if it makes sense or not. And that brings me to my very first point. When we talk about keyword research, there isn't really a, a, a magic formula for do this, take this keyword. It's more along the lines of look through keywords that seem relevant, that make sense, that are used by competitors and see if you can use them in your app. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And that's why the tools are so necessary for something like this, because it's very difficult to do this just by guessing. Now, let's pick a keyword. Let's look at weather and go into Keyword Inspector again, and let's type weather. That's usually my starting point. You know what your app does. The best thing you can do, throw it into Keyword Inspector, and let's see if this keyword is a keyword we can aim for. Popularity of 72, that's pretty popular. Competitiveness of 100, top 10 performance, estimated downloads 530. That's pretty good for 30 days, and this is US only because we're only looking at the US here. Estimated revenue, 5 million bucks. And that's a lot of money. And the interesting thing is it's not all coming from one app. The Weather Channel is big. It's going to be very difficult to compete with the Weather Channel for obvious reasons. But you also have quite a few other options that are also making money. Climb is making more than a million bucks. Not Boring Weather is making $22,000. That sounds great for an indie app. This is a very, very competitive niche. And that's a good starting point. What would I do in a case like this? I have a weather app. I can't necessarily compete over weather as a keyword. I need to find what we call long tail keywords. They have a popularity score that's much, much lower, maybe 20, maybe 25. And those are going to be keywords that have multiple words in them, most likely. And you find a bunch of those. That's really the key to long tail keyword optimization and finding opportunities. A keyword opportunity is a keyword that has a popularity that's somehow more than 20, but also a keyword where the top results don't have the keyword fully and properly in the app's name. Those are great opportunities because if you come in and you use the keyword specifically, you will rank high very, very quickly and with very little performance needed. Let's go back here and let's start looking at how to do this for weather. What I would do, and this is the easiest thing, I'm gonna take the top five apps and I'm going to look at all the other keywords that they're ranking in. About 5,000 keywords for us to choose from. We're going to look for, I wanna say a popularity that is medium. We're going to then look for all the apps that are ranked one to 10. What we're looking at here is keywords that have a popularity that is between 29 and 50 or 60. We're trying to find keywords where maybe one app is ranking really well, but all the other apps are not. Forecast seems to not be as popular. And none of these apps actually have forecast in their name. There's no forecast here, no forecast here. Yes, forecast here. So that's something. And yes, forecast here. But that's really all the competition you have. So let's look for weather forecast. It's popular enough that these apps are competing over it, but it's also not popular enough that you have as much I guess the competitiveness is 100, and that's because the Weather Channel is still here. They're using it in the keyword list, which still is relevant in 2025. That keyword list has gone from not being relevant to being amazingly relevant, to being terrible, to being what it is now, which is fairly useful. Make sure that you're using your keyword list on the App Store. Now, everything I'm saying, I might have the App Store tab selected, but the same thing goes for Google Play. Google Play will work the exact same way within Keyword Inspector, interesting that it's a little bit less competitive on, on uh, Google Play. And in Google Play, we do not have some of the things that we have for Apple, so we can't use the localization tip, but it does matter if the keyword is used in the description, and so the, uh, the columns changed a little bit. The use in the name is important, the use in the description is important. The use in the short description is also important, but we didn't put it here because the description has a lot more flexibility when you look at this. And wow, look at this, 17,000 ratings. What a stark difference. On Google Play, you're gonna have a much harder time if all you're doing is trying to compete on keywords. And that's another important thing. The way the algorithm works, it first looks for apps that are relevant. And for your app to be considered relevant, it has to have keywords in the right places. It has to have the keyword either in the name subtitle or the keyword list or a combination of all of them if it's a multi-word keyword. The main challenge then is for the algorithm, we have 249 results in this case and results on Google Play are capped. Results on the App Store are less capped. 6,300 keywords, 6,000 apps 
the algorithm determined were somewhat relevant when looking for weather forecast. Now it's got 6,000 apps. What does it do? You need to rank it somehow, right? So you can rank it by downloads, but you can you can influence downloads with ads. Not that good, right? Because the same app would be number one all the time for all the keywords. So what you have to do is you have to find something that users would use as a proxy for, I care about this, that is harder to manipulate and that's where ratings come in. But that's not the only thing because that can also be manipulated. So what the algorithm does is it looks for the keyword in specific places. The idea is that when you tell the algorithm through its most important metadata pieces, the name, the subtitle, or short description, long description or keyword list, when you tell it what the intent of the app is, then it takes that into consideration. Weight starts from left to right. So you want to have your keywords from left to right as important as possible on the left as we go to the right and as we edge into the subtitle and later the keyword list or the short description in the case of Google, less and less important. In a case like weather forecast, you can have weather in the name and you can have forecast in the subtitle and you will still be able to rank if you have a lot of momentum. Weather forecast here, only six new ratings and weather forecast gets to become number three in this. And that's again, because it uses the keywords properly. Is this a an opportunity? Absolutely. There's an app here with six ratings. That's number three for a 29 popularity keyword. That's amazing. And we can see this app is getting about a thousand new downloads a month from the app store in the US. So something good is happening. Now, if it was more popular or if the developer spent more time with optimization, that six could easily become more. I mean, the DPR for it is 240. So it takes 240 downloads to get a single rating. So something is not right. Maybe the app is not asking for rating. Maybe the app is doing something that isn't useful. If we look at other apps in this uh, result set, wow, like why is no one optimizing here? 318, 323. If you have a weather app, forecast is a keyword you want to look at. You still have these other competitors that are pretty aggressively targeting it, but not aggressive enough. And that's why at number three, we have weather forecast, which used the keywords as, as appropriately as possible and did not have any duplication. That's how it made it to number three with six ratings. So if I'm trying to optimize for my weather app, I would use weather forecast and weather forecast likely has even more keywords that I can learn from. So what I would do is I would then take everything with the weather forecast and try it again in the competitor organic keywords tool. And that will give me a better understanding of now, what can I do to dig into weather forecast and continue from there. And we have quite a bit of data here, 600 keywords from weather forecast and O-Radar, uh, AccuWeather with 1600, WeatherBug 1400. So now what I can do, let, let's do what we did before. So medium popularity, 20 to 59, rank high. Now we have a whole bunch of keywords so we can sort them by popularity upside down. So I want the lower popularities on top because those are probably the ones that I'm gonna reach for with my app. Now we have a local weather forecast. It's a 20 popularity, but none of these apps are actually doing really well in it. And I'm kind of curious to see why it's forecast spelt incorrectly. I would not necessarily recommend targeting misspelled keywords, but I think it's still important. Wow, that's amazing. So the misspelled keyword is a popularity of 20 and then the correctly spelled keyword is a popularity of five. But that's also another one of these things where a lot of this will come from trial and error. It shouldn't all come from trial and error, but if forecast without the E is more popular than with the E, I would take that and I would throw that in my keyword list, probably towards the beginning middle, just so I give it a fair chance. The way I would do this is using the localization tip that I share in pretty much every live stream at this point. And it's one of the most useful things that you can do. I have a guide on this. I will link to it below later so you can take it and you can see how to do it. But the idea is you put English words in non-English localizations. There are 10 that are supported. Russian is one of them. Chinese is one of them. And when you do that, the algorithm will read it as if it was the English localization. I would use that to test something like the misspelling of forecast. I wouldn't put that in any of my visible metadata because I think if people see that, they think I don't know how to spell and I don't really want that. But other than that, that's what I would do. If you have any other questions beyond that, drop them in the comments. That's all I have for you today. I'm gonna see you in the next one.